person walks up to you and tells you that his blood group is A positive. What does that mean? In this video, I'll be telling you how to understand blood groups. So there are basically many blood groups A, B, AB, O and it can have a positive or a negative. What does this AB, AB, O positive and negative signify? If a person has a blood group A, he has the A antigen and the antibody to B. Firstly, what is an antigen and what is an antibody? A foreign substance is known as an antigen and the response the body produces and creates a counter substance to it which is known as the antibody. Person with A blood group has the A antigen and the B antibody. A person with B blood group has B antigen and A antibody. A person with AB blood group has both the A antigen and the B antigen and has no antibodies. And a person with the blood group O has none of the antigens and has the antibody to both A and B. So what is the positive and negative signify? AB positive, AB negative. What is that positive and negative signify? Positive and negative is known as RH positive or RH negative. RH refers to rhesus. Rhesus is a type of monkey. It was found that a protein that was found in the blood of humans is also found in the blood of the Rhesus monkey. So if a person had the Rhesus monkey's protein in him, he was termed as RH positive. And if he was not having the Rhesus protein, he was termed RH negative. You would have heard people tell you that my blood group is an universal donor. My blood group is an universal acceptor. What does that mean? A person with a blood group of O, to be specific, O negative, is known as a universal donor because he does not have any antigens. He does not have the antigen A, he does not have the antigen B, or he even does not have the RH antigen. So you can safely give this blood to anybody you could give the o negative blood to a positive a negative b positive b negative ab positive ab negative and also to o positive and o negative and ab positive is known as the universal acceptor he has the a antigen he has the b antigen and he also has the rh antigen this means you can give him O positive, O negative, A positive, A negative, B positive, B negative, AB positive and also AB negative blood group. But for other blood groups such as A positive, B positive, you can give only that specific blood group and O negative. So before transfusing blood, you perform a test known as agglutination test which is based on the principle of antigen antibody reaction to confirm the blood group. That's it guys. I think you would have got an idea about classification of blood groups and how blood transfusion is carried on and all. If you like my videos, do subscribe Nick Sapien. This is Vishy signing off.